Now, many of us will know the great joy of being transported to a different reality through books. But children today are increasingly reading less and spending more time using tech. According to a YouGov survey, 54% of parents really worry about how much time their kids spend in front of screens. But what if there was a way to get the best of both worlds? Well, a new augmented reality novel seeks to do just that. Uh, with us now is the author of The Ghost Keeper's Journal, Jaffet Asher. Good morning to you, Jaffet. Hello, Sarah Jane. Thanks so for So you are bringing together the world of tech and books and what is the result uh, well for us it's incredibly exciting and i think what's exciting for us is that we see an opportunity to bring the screen generation back to books mm -hmm. um, the whole idea of using augmented reality with books is to combine the best of both the tactile and physical sensations of having a book Mm -hmm. um, in your hands and the way that you build an emotional relationship with it as an object mm -hmm. and also the digital experience animation graphics interaction that lets the uh, reader feel much more immersed in the world of the story um, so let's have a, a look at how it works because you've sure. got a physical book in front of you and you, and you can use either um, a phone or an iPad yes that's right um, so and it really is as simple as pointing it at a page scanning the page, I'm sorry, I'm looking over my shoulder to make sure, um, and you can see immediately um, that things are beginning to change on the page. Um, and uh, normally there'd be sound as well. And in fact, that eye that you've seen appear there is tracking my movement as I move back and forward. Um, there are messages throughout the book um, that are revealed um, as you scan pages to add to the story ghostly messages oh, wow. from the other That's side. That's a little ominous. That says, help me for those who can't quite see it. <laughs> yeah. Did you write that? I, well? No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Um, and, uh, you know, y y the story is a proper read. I mean, it's 32,000 mm. words of text mm -hmm. and you need to read the book to really understand the story. But then you synchronise the Ghost Keeper's Journal with the Ghost-O-Matic by doing this. I'm starting to get quite nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you should. Um, and You're not summoning, summoning a ghost into the studio, are you? You know, I would like to point out <laughs> that <laughs> there is ecto-energy throughout the book. That is okay. the idea of the book. Right. It's haunted. And you can see that energy now on the page. So, the, the worry is that children are spending too much time in front of their screens. Effectively, even though this is a book, they are still looking at it through a screen. Yes. That's going to be the criticism, isn't well, it? Well, they are, but they aren't doing it exclusively through a screen. Um, as I said, the book is 144 pages. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to read. Um, and it's uh, encouraging kids to read. Even the digital piece, you collect more pages to read. Mm -hmm. So uh, the book is all about reading and consuming words. Um, but at the same time, um, what it does is it creates a quality experience mm. for kids who are very focused on um, uh, uh, using screens um, to give them a richer um, uh, 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 screen life as well as introducing them or reintroducing them to books. But where, where do you see this going next? Because it strikes me that actually, almost literally, the, pros the possibilities are endless. You just need a source material and someone with a bit of imagination to bring it to life. Well, I think that's true. I mean, frankly, the Ghost Keepers Journal we've been working on at the company where I'm digital director, Carlton Books, for the last two years. Um, and it's the culmination of work we've been doing on a whole range of things combining augmented reality mm -hmm. with books. Um, whether it's bringing dinosaurs to life coming off the page um, or helping uh, teachers explain complex concepts in a series we do called I Explore with Natural History. Um, uh, and this takes us into the world of fiction and deeply immersive storytelling. You know, I'm incredibly excited about augmented reality. I think that um, it will become more and more a part of our lives. Um, in the classroom, at home, and it will allow us access to the magic that is sort of been hidden in screens day to day all around us. Uh, well, Jaffa, thank you so much for coming in to explain that to us. It does look very exciting. I know Neil has been playing with it off air <laughs> quite a lot. And he should have been doing more work. Well, I'm delighted view, I now have go. his picture for my, uh, in, my, uh, uh, in my iPad. <laughs> um, um... Oh, dear, that's an image you'll never be able to get rid of. Uh, Jaffa and Asher, thank you very much. Uh, pleasure me. to meet you. We're going to take a look at the weather now with Isabel.